This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Tuesday, August 9th. Less than a week after arriving back into the U.S. after being in Asia for nearly a decade, Diamond Princess has canceled the first 11 sailings over crew shortages. A statement from Princess told Cruise Radio, with rising occupancy levels on the ships that have already returned to service and our commitment to guarantee that the Princess experience is exceptional, Princess has made the difficult decision to cancel a limited number of voyages on the Diamond Princess beginning September 1st through November 13th. The additional time out of service will allow the cruise line to bring in additional crew members. Guests are being offered a booking on another ship, a future cruise credit, or a full refund. Diamond Princess is scheduled to sail from California to Mexico and the California coast this fall. The ship garnered unwanted attention in early 2020 as being the first cruise ship with a coronavirus outbreak around the world. And as a follow-up to yesterday's story, Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings announced that its three cruise brands are dropping their vaccination requirements and testing as of September 3rd for most people. These brands include Norwegian, Oceana, and Regent. Furthermore, fully vaccinated guests will no longer have to submit a negative COVID-19 test to sail, no matter the length of the voyage. Unvaccinated guests will still need to test negative before getting on the ship within three days. And finally, tourism in Jamaica has almost made a full recovery since the start of the pandemic, according to the country's Minister of Tourism. Between land and cruise travel, this year Jamaica expects over 3 million visitors with an estimated earnings of around $100 million. Now, that is below their best earnings of $3.7 billion in 2019, but is on the rise. The tourism minister also said that the U.S. has made a strong comeback with vacationers in the area as well. And Cruise Line stocks were up on Monday. Carnival Corporation up 2%, $10. Royal Caribbean up 1.4%, 40.24. And Norwegian up 2.4%, 13.53. Breaking news and industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. The proceeding was a production of Cruise Radio. For more accurate and dependable updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.